Hello, YouTube. Hello, beautiful Starseed family. Hey, beautiful souls. How is everyone doing? I hope everyone is doing well the day after Thanksgiving. Um, may you had a good Thanksgiving, been with friends and families, those that you love. Uh, if not, you know, send in prayers to those that are sick at this time, those that are in the hospital, those are, that are incarcerated and cannot be with their loved ones, and those who have had recent family members pass away. Um, I hope everyone is doing well. I want to get right into it. You know, I like to say yesterday is gone. That past is over with. There's nothing you can do about it. There's nothing you can do to change it. Tomorrow is unknown. It's not promised to us. We got to also live in the now, be in the present. It is a gift to be in the highest vibration that we can be in. Raise that vibration up, you know, with some singing bowls, with some music, with some dancing. You know, just, just get that energy, get that energy up. Especially if you were, you know, in a funk during these holidays. A lot of people feel alone. I want to send a lot of prayers to those that are um, in lack right now. You know, those that are homeless right now. There's so many people that are homeless that we don't even know that are homeless, that are, you know, trying to do their best every day. Um, I guess spirit really needed me to say that, but I do call in the highest white light. I call in the most high Christ. I call in Holy Spirit, divine mother, divine father. Um, what I am doing today is for the fire signs. We are now in Sagittarius um, season. So my fire sign, Sagittarius, Leo, and Aries. I want to do a love general reading. Whether you are dealing with somebody that is a fire sign, whether you have a fire sign uh, anywhere in your natal, in your natal chart, in your your Mars, Mercury, or in your Venus, all is welcome. If you are cross watcher, all is welcome as well. Um, so we're just going to do a short love reading. I did for the Sagittarius, um, I did a couple days ago try to upload and do a video for you guys. And for some reason, it just was not panning out for me. Um, my voice is a little bit hoarse right now, um, if, if you notice that. But I am I am well. Thank you guys again for being here. Uh, so we're going to just have, thank you, spirit. This one was upright, I heard. Thank you. So for the fire signs, I do hear like a lot of activity, especially in the department of love. Things are spicing up. Things are things are getting things are getting spicy at this time. All right, we'll see what's going on. Two more cards, spirit. Thank you. Let's see one more. I think one extra one came out. We'll, we'll put that one to the side. We got the bottom of the deck is the hangman. So already starting off when I see this five of pentacles, someone is in the energy of lack. Someone is feeling left out in the cold. Um, this could be recent energy as as much as the energy of yesterday, um, not really feeling welcomed, maybe feeling outcast, or you having to leave someone behind at this time. Things are moving slowly with the Knight of Pentacles. Well, whatever this direction uh, that you and your person that you guys are going into, um, I'm hearing there is a conflict as far as which direction to take, depending on where each one of you either want to live. Um, if this is a long distance relationship, it is taking a long time for you or the other person or this individual to uh, make up their mind and determine if they want to move in that same state or if they want to, uh, whatever this living dynamic is, one or the other Someone is needing to make a decision on, are you moving in with him or is he moving in with you? Um, 
with the eight of cups here having to walk away. So, so this is really a situation that could possibly um, determine if this is something destined or was this, you know, just a, another relationship that had to do with, you know, um, decision making, life decisions um, that you had to come up with, that you have to deal with at this time because having to walk away with this eight of cups is, you know, having to, to decide if your parents, if you live in the, the state that you live in, if your parents, if you're rooted in this state and having to walk, you know, uh, walk away from that to be with this individual, you know, if there's a pressure, you know, you're almost feeling like, um, there's an ultimatum or you're feeling like you, you're having to give this person that you're with an ultimatum. We have the nine of pentacles in reverse. So you or this person do not want to be single. Um, I'm hearing that both of you are dependent, but if the incomes came together, this would be a more fruitful situation. But I feel like I'm hearing there's a lot of control in, in this situation as far as where's one person going to work, where's one person going to go to school. And if there's any kids in this um, dynamic with the Ten of Cups, this is the ultimate goal uh, that you've let this person know that you're not going to settle for less. But you are looking, you know, for the children to go to a, a, a private a private school you know, some sort of STEM or some sort of char charter school. It is really, I'm hearing, it's really important that wherever you, you know, have your dream home or wherever you're rooted, this family, if this is a family that, that um, is coming together, where it's stepkids, you know, um, there's a, a real strong concern about having where, the both of you are being rooted at this time. You know, there's a lot of unconditional love here for each other. Um, so there's no question about that. But I am hearing that there's a lot of conversations happening with with this Ace of Pentacles. A lot of conversation is happening with, with this money. Um, you know, just taking these relationships from dating to now being more serious where the both of you are trying to determine, do you do a joint account? Will you guys um, file jointly? What is the next step um, with a proposal? Um, this The King of Cups is in reverse. So I feel like um, fire signs, especially I'm really hearing the Sagittarius and the Aries right now. Um, if you were dealing with a masculine or even with a feminine that really didn't want to co commit. Well, not that they didn't want to commit, but if they didn't want to take things to where, you know, if you guys been dating, it's two to three to even five years, you're looking at what is the next step in this relationship? Where is it going after this? I mean, do we continue to just be together and live separately, whether this is long distance or even if this is in the same um, community. But this King of Cups was uh, not really being as emotionally available for you when you needed them to. It looks like that energy is turning around. It looks like with the Wheel of Fortune, things are going forward in the direction that you need it to go in. Um, a lot more communication needs to happen again because the, the love is there. There's abundance of love. Um, there's even with the emotion, um, you're the one that has vocalized, you know, where you stand, you're not settling for less, you know, you, you are really in the energy of being logical, but you're under, but you're making it known to your mate. You know, the, the passions that, that you feel and that, you know, you wanting to see the things go to the next step in this relationship. And if it doesn't, someone is definitely feeling left out in the cold. And these are like some really hard 
uh, decisions to make because we could love individuals, but if they're not on the same journey as us or they're not on the same path as us, you know, sometimes you have to at least walk away for that individual to see what they had. And unfortunately, sometimes it does take choosing yourself and having to walk away for somebody to, to know, you know, how beneficial uh, you are in in their life. I'm hearing there is a lot of spiritual uh, connection between the two of you. Um, again, a really, a really, a lot of love, but there's a lot of pentacles here. And the pentacles are, you know, this is something that is really, really significant. Um, you know, maybe even try going to couples counseling because it looks like, you know, one person is very different with money than the other person. One person is more frugal and then one person, you know, just kind of has more of, you know, we, we're living now, so let's spend the money now. Um, I'm hearing, you know, you're, you're more of the stable person in the relationship where, you know, you want to, you know, have all your T's crossed, all your dots crossed. Um, you're wanting, you're the one that wants to have things document signed. You know, you're wanting to know that you have a will. You're wanting to know, you know, um, that this family needs life insurance. You are the one that is really holding this glue together. Um, but, I, but I am hearing that you are taking a stance. It does look like you possibly are giving um, this person, your person, an ultimatum that they really have to come up with a decision. They have to at least get more mature and um, more vocal on uh, where they're wanting, where they're wanting to see this relationship um, to go next. Twelve of fire signs. So that other card that came out was the seven of swords. So this would be, you know, very sneaky, deceptive, energy, lying, um, cheating. I don't feel like it's cheating in, in this aspect by the other spreads that are out here. Um, 12, 22 on the clock, that may be significant. But this person, again, if they have more of the immature energy, wanting to just get away with just dating you for years and, you know, they, you know, may say things like, well, if it's not broken, you know, there's nothing to fix it. And, you know, we're doing good with the way things are now. Why do we have to change anything? Especially if you're coming into where, you know, you're wanting to be married and this individual, you know, is kind of okay with the way things go because they do love you. I mean, they do love you immensely. That there's no question about that at all, but they are in the energy of wanting to just get away with, you know, um, not having certain conversations with you, you know, trying to avoid certain conversations. You probably even brought up, you know, let's go see a financial advisor. Let's go see a marriage counselor, <clears throat> counselor before we make this decision. Um, grab some water, guys, if you need some. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, <clears throat> <clears throat> oh, excuse me. 